Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn function in JavaScript. A function is a group of code which will execute upon call. We can call a function anywhere from our code and make the code execute written within the function. So let's see the syntax of a function. To write a function, we have a keyword called function and space after that is the name of the function, function name and a open and close parenthesis after that is a pair of curly braces and inside of this brace you have to write some statements which going to be execute so i am going to use our old code uh, which i already uh, written for the print uh, print to odd numbers and event i am going to use the same code uh, in our function so i'm going to change this function name as print odd num bars and uh, I just copy this whole code sorry cut and I paste it over here so this is a function to print all the odd numbers that comes under 1 to 100 now I'm going to write another function so function print even numbers and I do copy this code and just paste it over here okay so currently I have two function one is for print all the odd numbers and one is for print all the even numbers now if I do save it and go back to my browser if I do refresh you see nothing because this function is used to print odd number and even numbers but we are not calling these functions uh, until we call this function this functions code will not be executed how to call a function to call a function just write the function name like I want to call this function the first one so I will write print odd numbers and this bracket after that if I do save go back to my browser if I do refresh you see the odd numbers only printed over here not the events right to print the event numbers we have to call this function if I to save okay so now even numbers is only printing right so this way we can call any function and uh, we can uh, execute only those code which has been written within that function so there are two type of functions present one is without parameter and one is with parameter these functions over here are without parameter because I'm not passing any parameter within it so how to pass parameter and wh why we should pass parameter so to pass parameter we have to pass it inside of this parenthesis and uh, the p parameter is nothing but a variable name uh, so as you see this function will print the all the odd numbers from 1 to 100 right but I don't want all the numbers within 100 but I want all the numbers within 50 not 100 so how to do that I don't want to change this number every time I want to keep this function as it is and want to control it from outside of the function then how we can do that currently this function is called a static function as it is not depending on anything uh, whenever it will get called it will execute all the uh, it will print all the odd numbers from 1 to 100 but if I change this value as dynamic then we can control it how to do that we can achieve this by using parameter so parameter nothing but a variable so I'm writing the variable name as limit over here and I'm change this 100 as limit now when we call this function and if we pass some numbers here like 50 then what happened when this function will co get call the 50 will uh, be hold by this limit variable and uh, now this condition will check based on this limit so what is the value of limit is which is 50 so now this function will print only all the odd numbers which come under 1 to 50 so let's save go back to the browser if I do refresh you see it's printing all the odd numbers which comes under 50 so this is called a parameterized function we can pass uh, any number of parameter uh, within this uh, parenthesis but uh, that should be also be matched with the numbers you are passing whenever you are calling a function so I can pass another parameter like 
start uh, number and every time we have to put comma between two parameter so the start number i'm place pressing uh, over here uh, instead of one and i can pass the start number so you also have to remember that the order of the parameters over here you should pass uh, according to the same order so if i put two over here and i have to also put comma over here so if you put two then this two will be treated as the start number and this 50 will treat it as limit if you swap this if i write 2 after 50 then the 50 will be treated as the start number and 2 will be treated, treated as limit so that is not right so uh, let's write 5 so 5 comma 50 if i do save if i go back to my browser and refresh now it is printing from 5 not from 1 right so this way we can uh, write the parameterized function uh, to make our function dynamic so this is the example of a static function and this is the example of a parameterized and dynamic function same way we can call a function inside of a function so how to do that let write another function function space print odd or even numbers and bracket and inside of that uh, for now I'm just removing this parameter and inside of that function I can call either this or this now I'll pass some parameter over here that is uh, type try to always write your uh, variable name as a uh, start with a small case so I just put type now if I uh, I will write some conditional operator over here if type equal to equal to odd then I will execute this function if type equal to equal to even then I will execute this function else so let put it as else if else I will print like document dot write type is wrong okay now I will call this function with proper parameter okay so I need to pass the type so if I pass type as odd and save it and if I go back to my browser and refresh it's see only odd numbers okay because I uh, forgot to change this variable okay so one and I just changes a hundred so save it go back to my browser okay now it's printing all the odd numbers right okay come back here and change it as even save it so it's only print only the even number so, so this way uh, we can call our function we can write function and this helps when uh, whenever we write uh, so many lines again and again and again at that time we uh, put them into a single function and we call that function every time from anywhere in our code okay so that's it uh, for function we'll see we'll use a lot fun lot of function in our uh, later video when you do for advanced uh, javascript coding so if you have any question please uh, reach to me by the comment section and if you understand this video please give it a like and see you in the next video thank you